Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we'll be discussing about how we can get the job call for the Oracle DPA or for any other fields. So yesterday itself, I got the mail from one candidate and he said that it's been long time that I'm not getting the calls for Oracle DBA, especially he was a Oracle DBA and he was not getting the calls. So I just thought to make the video based upon this concept only so that it will be really helpful for everyone who is looking for new and fresh job. Okay, so let's start. If you are looking for the job in any other field, the first thing that you need to understand about uploading your resume on the job portal. So there are many portal which are available in the market. Let's talk about the Nokri.com, which is really famous in all the IT industry. So most of the MNC companies, they are using this Nokri.com portal. There you can just upload your resume and create your profile. Uploading the resume and creating your profile is not uh, something which is you need to pay it is a free of cost just go to the nokri.com if you want the link i can put it into the description section there you will get the link for nokri.com along with so, the nokri.com you can also use the monster and indeed.com because middle scale companies they are also using this kind of portals now in the oracle dba oracle 18c and oracle 18c which are currently trending right so if you are not updating this skill definitely there is a less chance that you will be getting calls because when we want the resource to be work on the oracle 12c we'll be telling to the hr hey we need the people who is having the experience on oracle 12c so what hr will do hr will search on the nokri.com for oracle 12c those candidates who has mentioned oracle 12c in the skills their profile only highlighted on the top and they'll be getting the calls so this is the most important thing that you need to understand if you are looking for job in IT industry or any other field if you are just mentioning everything in your resume and uploading it on your portal that is not sufficient because HR people don't have the much understanding about the technology they are just looking for the skills what you are mentioning on the job portal and and that skills are coming from the skill section not from your resume so make sure you upload so make sure you update your skills on the skills section as well as in your resume next thing is you need to update your profile on daily basis once so you once wake up just log into your portal and then you need to just update your profile i'm not asking you to add the new skills on every day but you can directly update so whenever hr is searching for any portal they will be thinking that this is a last modified and this resume has been uploaded recently so this is going to be a really really and it is my experience so you can take it forward if you are working with the company which is having the service period of three months then there is a less chances to get the calls because most of the company they are looking for someone who can join the company immediately now here the irony part is the company who is looking for immediate joiner they also have the three months of notice period so this is what i am not understanding you need to understand these things you are not alone who is looking for the job into the it industry so what you can do you can join this facebook pages are there whatsapp groups are there and there you will get the information if there is any vacancy in any company if you want me to make the videos on the vacancies which are available for oracle dba then i can do it but for that i need your suggestion you can put your suggestion into the comment section definitely i'll be helping for that i hope this video is really helpful for you i can see a lot of good responses from all of you please do like subscribe and share this channel and i have created another channel you will find the link in the description box please do subscribe to that channel that will be really helpful and supporting for me thank you thank you so much for watching this video if you have any suggestion for me for the next video you can definitely suggest me in the comment section thank you so much bye bye for the day see you again with the next video